Welcome to the House of Commons Chamber, the place where our elected representatives or members of parliament come to discuss bills or issues that concern themselves or their constituents and to question the government. Now this is the 20th century part of the building after it was rebuilt following the destruction of the original chamber in the Second World War. Now when the chamber was rebuilt, Commonwealth countries contributed to the cost of the materials to rebuild the place. For example, the doors into the chamber are from India and Pakistan, the table of the house from Canada, the bar of the house from Jamaica and the speaker's chair from Australia. Now the speaker sits right behind me in the middle of the room and their job is to keep order during debates and to call MPs to speak. To his or her right hand side on those benches, that is where Her Majesty's government sit and behind them the MPs belonging to the government party. To the speaker's left hand side, that is where the official opposition sits and beyond them is where the other opposition parties sit, uh, just underneath the gangway. Further along is a single chair which is used by the sergeant at arms, the parliamentary official who is responsible for the security in the House of Commons. The dispatch boxes on the table are where the Prime Minister and the leader of the opposition stand, or whichever minister or shadow minister are speaking at the time. And at the end of the table, at the top and the bottom, are the holders for the mace. Now the mace is a symbol of royal authority, without which the House of Commons cannot sit and debate. Now the mace is brought in and out of the house by the sergeant at arms in a procession at the beginning and the end of each day.